on. Okay. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Okay, I'm on. So, happy Tuesday, everybody. My day was okay. Um, again, fairly typical, which, which is good. So nothing crazy happened. The weather is crazy, though. We had weather reports of possible severe weather between two and five or two and seven or something they said. But I would say the past three hours, right now the sun is out, it looks beautiful. Then it would get very cloudy, dark, almost cool. And we'd think, oh gosh, we're gonna have a downpour. And then the sun would come out and it would get muggy. And then it would get dark. So it's been doing this for about three hours off and on. So whether the storms actually left the area or not, I don't know. We never did get rain. Um, they are saying, they were saying potential high winds, which I'm not crazy about. But at any rate, it's fine out now. Okay, do and not let him out. Okay. Okay. Do not. Okay. Right. We have grommet loose. Okay. So here's the exciting thing of the day. Grommet's loose. And as you just heard, Colleen returned Bentley into the house, and we are not to let him out because Gromit is out. So, Benny, come and lay down. There you go. That's the excitement. The weather's been exciting. Yes, I was telling them about the weather. Okay. Yes. So we have the weather. We have Gromit. I don't know what else we have. Miss. Oh, update, update. Miss Pilot is doing much, much better. The little subcutaneous fluid <laughs> that she had near her incision site uh, seems to have disappe disappeared. Uh, yesterday I noticed one of the little lumps had gone down um, and today they, they're, both, they're both gone. So um, she's doing well. Unfortunately, I suspect that means she won't be in the house too much longer because she was in the house so we could give her her meds and watch her. So now that she's feeling better, she may have worked herself out of the house and back into the kennel. And I think she's gonna miss being in the house. She's become very comfortable being in the house and being a house dog, but I think her days may be numbered. Let's see, what else? Um, blah, 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 I don't know. Um, We have no real update on Annie. Uh, we know that she, um, you know, is resting comfortably. Um, and apparently her brother um, has arrived in the area and is actually coming to the farm to pick up some things that she left here. But that's really only all I know about that right now. So we will let you know when and if we know more. And thank you all for your kind thoughts and prayers. Um, and some cards have arrived, so I know she'll be very appreciative. Thank you. Um, is Gromit loose on purpose to play? That I don't know. I don't know why he's out. Um, it could be. I mean, maybe he's out getting some exercise. Um, but at any rate, he's out, so Bentley's in. Right, Benny? Yeah, Benny's right here next to me. Let's see what else is going on. I speak 
girl. Pie, pie, pie. Um, let's see. I don't know, nothing else I can think of. I have no idea what's for dinner before anybody asks. Yeah, meatloaf in here. Okay. Oh, well, Pam reports she's trying meatloaf in the refrigerator, so <laughs> they may be having meatloaf for dinner. There you go. Carlene has not been in the house too much. We didn't even chat about what may or may not happen for dinner, so they're on their own. Oh, any spays are new to schedule this week? Yes, Thursday, Tumblr is scheduled to be spayed. She's the only one this week, so you will see her in the house on uh, on Thursday, probably noon time ish. Since she's the only one, um, it won't be as long. I assume Grace will go with her um, to Danvers Animal Hospital. So yes, Tumblr. How is the dog with the ear problem? That would be... Grooming. Thank you. I couldn't think of his name. I'm picturing him. That would be Grooming. Um, he seems to be fine. Um, I actually didn't look closely at his ear today. Um, I did feed him breakfast and lunch. Um, he didn't appear to be in any discomfort. In the past few days, Megan said it was apparent that his ear was bothering him. He wasn't himself. Um, he seems very much himself today. She did clean it very, very well yesterday. I think she may have told you uh, with ear cleaner, and she actually scraped a lot of gunk off of it. So um, he's probably feeling better. But I'm sure somebody, if they haven't checked on him yet, I'm sure they will check on him before the day's end. Are there any females with staples yet to be removed? The only female with staples was Gretchen um, for her bloat, and Megan and Grace removed those staples. When the dogs get spayed, they, they don't have staples. They have dissolvable stitches. So once they come home, that's it. They don't go back unless, heaven forbid, there will be a problem. So Gretchen's staples are out. Well, good news. They're telling me that when um, Regina comes, I'll be all set for dinner. I won't have to worry about dinner. She apparently loves to cook, so there you go. <laughs> tomorrow, we have to see if he's coming tomorrow, right, Pam? Yes. Yeah. They're getting in between 11 and 12, so we'll probably pick them up about 1. Okay, so we have two CPs, Regina and... Debbie, 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 I gotta think. And then the camera office coming, Lee is coming. Mm -hmm. So two are coming tomorrow, and then later at next week, somebody else is coming. So you'll see all kinds of friendly faces on camera this week. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there are any other questions. Carlene's been outside, as I mentioned. Oh, the Red Sox. Oh, the Red Sox. Well, it wasn't. I know because I listen to you. Yeah, the Red Sox. Well. <laughs> oh, it's not good. It's not great. I believe. <laughs> I believe, they may be, tied for first place. I'm sure someone's going to correct me right now, um, but I think they're playing Baltimore, tonight. I think they are. So. They're not doing terrible, but um, they're not sole possession of first place. That I can tell you. Again, as I predicted, they need pitching. <laughs> they don't have good pitchers. <laughs> so we'll see how that pans out. Well, today is the first day of Patriots mini training camp. Oh, it is. Ooh. Linda's all excited. Today is the first day of Patriots mini training, training camp. camp. 
I'm not a big football person, so I'm not that excited about that. Um, I'm a baseball person, and after baseball, I'm a basketball well, person. Will you ask Esther the pig? Yeah, someone told me about Esther the pig, and I want to thank them, and I can't remember who told me about Esther. Okay, you can probably hear us talking here. Linda's wanting to know who told her about Esther the pig. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you understand, <laughs> you can let us know, and I'll tell Linda. I don't think I want to know about Esther. Do we know how far into pregnancy Daisy is? I doubt it because she was a rescue donkey. So just like Maud, we know that she's pregnant, but I have, I'm sure we have no idea how pregnant she is. So this will be another guessing game, I'm guessing. Have I gone to see the new donkeys? I have not. I have not gone to see the new donkeys. I will make it a point to get down there before the end of the week. I get, I get up here, and I never get past. I don't get too far past the pond, it seems, but... On average, how many people do I cook for? It depends who's here each day. Um, you know, usually I would say four to six, maybe it's an average. I don't know. It depends. You know, Carlene's here and Grace is here and the overnight person sometime. And then if there are, if there are potential applicants, they usually join for dinner. Um, Linda's it depends. I'd say maybe four to six people, but that could change. This train Steve sneaking by. <laughs> okay, we have no info on Esther the pig yet, so stay tuned. See, now it's getting dark out again. This weather has been crazy. That's it. And if there are no other questions, I'm going to say. I don't know. They're a someone's asking who is Esther the pig. So I'm going to have to ask Linda, who's Esther the pig? I know not. So here she comes to explain. Okay. So at a recent <laughs> mail call, I asked Colleen to get a pig. That didn't go over too well. <laughs> but I like pigs. I have a stuffed pig in my car. So anyway, there was a CP who very nicely I said to me, it. have you seen Esther the pig? And it's on Facebook, and she has a following. And I now follow her, and she is the cutest, sweetest, biggest pig you would ever want to see. So follow Esther the pig. And I don't know who told me, so whoever told me, would you message me and tell me because I wanted to thank you. That's us to the pig. Hey, pie. She's looking Thank for you. cookies because she found cookies over there earlier. Okay, there's, there's, there's the update in Esther, so how we know. There we go. A book by Esther's owner was just written. I know, I'm going to buy it. Oh, Linda's going to buy it. Okay. Go socks. Yes, go socks. We'll see what happens tonight, right, Pilot? I know, I know you're very cute. See, now, probably get in trouble for letting her do this. So, right? You're very, very adorable. We love you. You're very cute. You are just the cutest thing, but I don't think you're supposed to be doing this. Because I'm going to get in trouble, and you're going to get in trouble, okay? Okay. All right. Uh-uh-uh. Don't do that. Oh, my old girlfriend. Okay. Well... Okay, they've they've gone off in this pig tangent, so I think it's time. <laughs> I think I think it's time for me to say, have a nice afternoon, and let me get Pilot before she gets into any more harm back here, and I will see you on Thursday. Good night, everybody. Pi, what are you doing? What are you trying to get into now that you're not supposed to get into? You're so silly. You're a very silly girl. And you're going to get in trouble. Oh, we're still on the mic. Let's turn the mic off. This is a supply story. You don't need that.
Okay? All right. No, little friend. Oh, little friend, little friend, little friend, little friend. Little friend, what are you doing? Are you... Oh, good. All right, Pi. We're done. Yes, Sunny, you're very cute.